What up? So we're gonna talk, man, stretch. So we're gonna talk about multiplicative inverse, AKA the reciprocal. You'll hear it more commonly referred to as a reciprocal. It's like it's street name. The reason is multiplicative inverse is hard to say. Say it three times fast. Multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse. I did it because I trained for years. That's the only reason I can do it. It's like the princess bride. Drink a little bit of the poison every day to become immune. Don't do that, that's very bad for you. I don't think that movie is true. It's not a true story, I don't think. I'm not sure. Okay, so um, we wanna talk about multiplicative inverse in solving problems. So here's an example. Solve x divided by y when x equals two over three and y equals negative four over seven, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna rewrite this. I know x divided by y is the same as saying x divided by y. Whenever you do fractions, you don't want to do it like stacking, fraction, stack, over a fraction, divided by, that's too much, okay? Nobody wants that. It's a leaning tower of, oh no, I'm going to mess up and fail my class. So x divided by y equals, now I'm just going to plug in my x, which is two-thirds, divided by y, which is negative four over seven. Now, when you're doing this, you're like, oh, the negative's there, I'm going to subtract them. Oh, if that negative's in there, I'm just going to start subtracting. Don't, okay? Just give the negative to one of the numbers and let them keep it, okay? It's like four negative, it's like four, you hold on to the negative. Or I can give it to the seven, it doesn't matter, just give it to one of them, not both of them, and not neither of them. I'm gonna give it to the four, he's gonna hang out with the negative, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're like, I know how to multiply fractions, because it's pretty easy. You just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and you put them on, you just put them where they go. With dividing fractions, you're gonna do the same thing, except for there's like one step, and you gotta flip you gotta find the reciprocal, which means you gotta flip it, okay? So for instance, I've got two thirds divided by negative four over seven. I can turn that into two thirds times that, but I have to use the reciprocal. I have to use the multiplicative inverse. So I'm gonna rewrite it, two over three. I'm gonna make it multiply. I have to flip it. So there has to be like a sacrifice for using, switching division to multiplication. You can't just do it, change the problem but you can change it to multiplication if you flip it, okay? So now negative four goes from the top to the bottom, and the seven goes to the top. Now we can just multiply across the top. Two times seven is 14. Three times negative four, negative 12. Can I simplify that? Absolutely, they're both even. I know two goes into both of them. How many times two go into 14? Seven times. How many times does two go into negative 12? Negative six times. We have our answer, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what learning looks like. Oh, hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. But you click that. Anyways. I'll wait.